What's your favorite Japanese sweet? <laughs> <laughs> I tried to do it as straight as I could. Minasan, konnichiwa. Watashi no channel e yokoso. Kyo wa part two with Togen, my lovely friend, who is here today to talk about his favorite food and food experiences in Japan. Majiko Shokai, Arigashi. Hi. Hi. Tashi wa Togen to moshimas. Tashi Alaska kara kimashita. So, firstly, do you like Japanese food? I do, very much. Okay. What is your favorite food? That's a very difficult question. So something that comes to mind really quickly is I do love Japanese curry. Mm. Um, I think actually, to be honest, all curry, curry in general is my favorite food. Mm. Um, I love Thai curry, I love Indian curry, I love Japanese curry. Um, it's just really good, especially if it's been a cold day. Where I live now, there's like a small, I think it might be a chain, but I've never seen another one of it, um, called Parco. It's really good if you ever see it. And it's really small, and it's just like the best curry I've ever had. Wow. I don't really know so much about Japanese curry. I oh. had soup curry. Soup curry is really um, good as well. But yeah, I'm. I don't really like curry so much, actually. Really? Yeah. Um, yeah. What's your favorite Japanese food? Um, I think I just love fish because like now I don't eat meat. So yeah, I love like sushi and sashimi. Yeah. It's uh, actually I was surprised because like so obviously sushi is famous in the U.S. as well. Um, although the sushi in the U.S. is I don't know about the U.K. but it's so different than Japanese oh, yeah. sushi. Do they fry it? <laughs> Um, I think I have had fried sushi. It's um, common yeah. at home. Or like at least like teriyaki chicken sushi inside the maki or something yeah, like that. Yeah, like yeah. a bit like... So at home we have two really... Like you can go anywhere and they have these rolls. We have the heart attack roll and the titanic roll. I don't know what the name on the on the menu is. It's the name on the menu, and I don't know why. But um, yeah, usually it's fried on the outside. They even put like cream cheese (laughs) in the middle, and then they put different kind of sauces on top. But it is very good. (laughs) I guess it's like a bit of a twist. It's like east to east. Yeah, right. Yeah. What's your favorite sushi topping then? Yeah, I just like the shrimp ones, or the sweet okay. shrimp one is my oh, favorite. Yeah. My partner loves like the ikura, the fish egg sushi, oh, I like and the uni, egg, the yeah. sea urchin sushi. Oh, yeah. I cannot. I think uni has to be super, super, super fresh. If it's like one hour over fresh, it's like. For me, it's like, why don't I lick a fish and then lick the ocean? And I've had I the see. same experience. Okay. <laughs> but also, I am very picky about my seafood. Mm. And I think. And maybe that's a West thing, like... I think I'm a bit of an anomaly, because I love, like, oysters and uni. I do like oysters like, randomly. Oh, you do? Okay. I don't know why I like oysters. I do, though. What do you think about Japanese oysters versus, like, other country oysters? Um, sometimes they're kind of giant. <laughs> they are so big. I was like... If I can put hot sauce on it, I love it. Mmm. That's the best way to eat oysters. For me, yeah. Mm. I actually don't even like putting lemon on it. I like it just a little bit of sea flavor. That's I see, it. I see why you're friends with uh, my partner. He, <laughs> he's the same same way. There's nothing more decadent when you get some bubbles and you get oysters. Monster it's just oysters. like, yeah, I'm living the life at that point. Yeah, I've made it. It's so nice. Have you ever had fugu? Yes, I did. I How was, was it? I was treated to it on my birthday. Um, I would say that Ponzu sauce is a really great accompaniment to fugu because actually fugu itself doesn't have so much actual flavor. Then afterwards, I got some sort of strange rash on my face. <gasps> yeah. Wait, so are you just allergic or is there like... Well, there is something called some kind of fish poisoning, which you can get from fugu, but I think you can get it from other fish as well. And oh. yeah, I just had this like big, nice blob. How long did it last? Oh, only like overnight. Oh, okay. When I woke up, it had gone down. Oh, that's but good. like, yeah, it was, it was strange. But I would say fugu itself is, is fine. When I was an English teacher, I had a student who just loved, it was his favorite food was fugu. Yeah. And I've never had it, but I'm always like, just because like it's famous for being dangerous, I'm always like, I'm scared of it. I think the liver is really dangerous. Um, it's but a I, gamble, yeah. I know it's also really expensive, which is the other mm. the other thing that's barred me from getting it, but someday yeah. I will someday. have it. Okay. Is there any food that you really miss from I miss uh, this one surprised you. I miss Mexican food. Mm. Um if, like mm. here you get a taco like this size and it's like twenty dollars and I you're see, like I see. 
like really for that you know casseroles are really big mm. in the US um, and I sometimes miss that not really so much because I think they're like oh so delicious fine dining but maybe because I grew up with them a little bit so it's a little bit um, like when I eat it it's like oh it's like yeah exactly yeah. it's like oh it's my home uh, I, this feels like I'm in the US again um, and the other thing sorry I have a lot okay. is uh, <laughs> spare ribs um, okay. which I will make here but they're always smaller here mm. I don't know you know maybe it's a smaller animal or what but um, so you pay a lot more for a little less I see um, so I, I miss you know like you can get ribs a lot of places in the US because it's big and I miss that a little bit I see how about you from the UK from Wales I think I miss cheese at a reasonable price yeah so in the UK we have just like such a selection of cheese and it's really cheap actually um, so yeah when I buy a piece of cheese here in Japan and they it's tell me how much expensive. it costs, so I'm like, are you sure? Yeah. Even, yeah. So that, I guess I miss that. And also, um, in the UK, you know, we traditionally use ovens. That's yeah. like a really standard part of cooking. So just getting a piece of meat or something like that and putting it in the oven and, and kind of leaving it, um, I kind of miss that. However, now I've changed my eating style and I don't eat meat anymore. So. Yeah, maybe when I go back to the UK, it's going right. to be like, why do we have this oven? <laughs> well, so you haven't been back in probably about two, three years as well, right? Three years, yeah. Yeah. I mean, so I actually bought a small oven since I've been here. It's electric, so it's not the same, not nearly the same as the ones at home. And I do feel like if I make a recipe um, from the U.S., I need to leave it in there for an extra 10 minutes in I general see, because okay. it's just not as strong or something. I don't know. Because it doesn't quite cook the same, I always feel like... It's a little bit of a gamble. I'm like, is it going to come out the way that the recipe says it will? Um, I see. Do you feel like the price of food when you go out to eat, or even in supermarkets, do you feel like it's more in Japan? It depends, I guess, on what you're buying. If you're buying Japanese food, actually, no, I feel like it's very reasonable in general. Um, I can get ramen for like, you know, 600 yen, six dollars. Mm -hmm. And that's very reasonable to me, and you get a good amount. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, if I want to, like I said, make spare ribs, I do get less, and I end up paying like forty dollars to make it. Right. For the whole meal that I will make, yeah. it'll be that much. Yeah, I see. Okay. Do you like izakaya? I do. Okay. I you know, like recently, I haven't been able to go as much, but back in October, I went to Kamata, and there are tons of izakayas there, and it was just really fun. Mm -hmm. Um, going there and you can have a little bit to eat and you can have some Nihonshu. Yeah, okay. What's your favorite um, izakaya dish? You know, I guess when I go to an izakaya, I do, I want like sashimi or sushi or something. I think it goes really well with Nihonshu. But also, I usually go with somebody and they're like, you should get this. And I'm like, yeah, I'll okay. eat that. And then, unless it's, you know, uni or something, I'm quite happy. Sometimes they'll bring you, you know, like the little It'll be like a little dish, and it has like some sort of like stewed meat in it. Oh, um, like otoshi? Yeah, exactly. Oh. I think the, the joy of otoshi is that like you are given something that you wouldn't otherwise order. Exactly. And you can often find like really fun new foods. I discovered shirasu through that. Oh. Mm. I went to an izakaya and they had like some grated daikon. Uh, grated radish and then put like a shirasu on top and it was like so yummy. And so like at this restaurant we went to they had an all-you-can-eat shirasu so you order any dish and they would just oh. put it on top Find until you told them when. Um, the other thing that's it's not Japanese food I guess but Italian food's quite good mm. here I feel like. Mm -hmm. um, in general I feel like in Japan I don't really have that many experience where I've just had a meal where I was like this is bad. Like Totally. The worst meal I've had is probably one I made myself that didn't go as planned, so... <laughs> okay, do you have a favorite convenience store snack? Oh... You know what? Yes. Um, I have two. So, growing up I had a friend whose mother was... She was Japanese, but she was uh, raised in Hawaii. And so, a thing there... I think it's like a Hawaii, Hawaiian and Japanese fusion, I could be wrong, but... They... Spam musubi. I was just about to say. <laughs> so you put spam, some rice, you wrap it in some seaweed, maybe you put some sauce in there. Anyway, Family Mart is doing a special thing right now where they have it. Um, and so anytime I'm like, if I'm going to go to the river and have a drink with somebody, I will always buy that. It's so good. Spam is not something I 
new until I came to Japan. Actually. Really? Yeah. I, wasn't it made in the UK? I thought for some reason. Was it? Well, the only reason I think that is Monty mm. Python did the spam song. Oh. <laughs> I never knew about it, but I'm surprised when I came here. Like spam is a thing in Japan. Yeah. Well, if you go to Okinawa, you can get um, champuru. And they put spam in there, and it's so good. Um, I 100% recommend okay. that. The other thing is, I don't know if you've had it, but they have cheese, and then they put the cod fat on the outside. I recommend that. I like to eat a beer with that, or a highball would go well with that, I okay. think, as well. Yeah, I think the joy of Japanese snacks, the joy of Japanese food, actually, is that it pairs so nicely with, like, beer or highball or nihonshi. Right. Yeah. I mean, like, I think in general drinking is different here. People mm. are, there's less shame around it in general. It's like, there's people who don't want to and that's fine. Um, and there's people who want to drink a lot and that's also fine. Yeah. And so it's designed to match either person mm. really well. Um, whereas at home, I feel like there's more shame about both of those options somehow. Okay. Yeah. In my country, I think we, we drink or we eat. Um, I mean, of course, there's like moments where you go for for meals and you have like wine with your with your food. But I think, yeah, when you go to a pub or when you go to a club, you drink more and you don't really eat so much. So it was a really nice surprise going to an isekai yeah. and being like, oh my god, there's a full menu. Like I saw an isekai as a restaurant, a Japanese restaurant. That being said, I kind of miss bars. I know they have them here, but. I don't know, I, I feel like in general bars here are really nice, but they're really fancy and a little bit expensive. Okay, I see. So, do you like Japanese sake? Nihonshi? I do. Okay. Like, if you don't know what to do, it will always be good. Is Hakai san? Oh, yes. Okay. It's always good, it's reasonably priced, goes well with many things. Mm. And I did a sake tasting the other week. I tried all of them, they're all pretty good. I think there was one I didn't like, it was a little too sweet. Um, but there was the best one I found out was made by this. I think it was Hakai san. It's not the one that you normally get, it was like a different version of it. But I was like, yeah, it's pretty solid. They did a really nice job. It's always really, really good. Do you like sweet food? I do, yes. Um, so, especially I think Japan has nice like ice cream that you can just buy at the convenience stores. Yeah, okay. I really like Parm. It's just like a vanilla bar, and then they put chocolate on the outside, but the chocolate is nice it's very rich and I don't know I really like it for some reason but seasonal things are really popular oh, like yeah. the seasonal flavors and two summers ago haagen did this flavored um, it had uh, agave nectar in the middle agave sorry, agave <laughs> agave nectar in the middle and it was so good I was eating it every single day and then it was a summer thing and it's gone and I've never seen it again oh. wow. I really like Japanese soft cream. Oh yeah. yeah. In the UK we have this ice cream van and the man like drives around and they, they have like a little song and they serve this like delicious soft cream. Okay. Um, but that wasn't like a standard thing so coming to Japan and finding soft cream everywhere it was like such a joy for me. Did you call it soft cream in? No. What do you well, call So the man who drives this car, the car is like Mr. Whippy. So you call it Mr. Whippy? Yeah. So That's Mr. so funny. So we have the ice cream man in the U.S. as well. Um, I think he usually sells bars, though, as opposed to... Oh, how disappointing. And the other thing is, in the U.S., we do have soft cream, but we call it soft serve. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's your favorite Japanese sweet? I absolutely love daifuku. Oh, yeah. And kind of tying into what you said about the seasonal foods, I love, like, the different types of daifuku. <laughs> <laughs> Throughout the year can get loads of different types of <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I love the different types of daifuku throughout the year. <laughs> uh, yes, they are very good. <laughs> what's your favorite kind of daifuku? What's your favorite flavor for daifuku? So a recent discovery was the spring themed <laughs> So, like, a recent discovery was... <laughs> I can't look <laughs> We'll just look into the distance. <laughs> yeah, the, the one that I've recently discovered is, like, a Sakura-themed one. Oh. And it's not, oh, like, okay. a pink one with the leaf around it, but it's, like, um... It looks like a normal daifuku. Um, 
Okay. And inside it is sort of like this really delicate Shiroan mix. I don't know, it's really nice. Oh, okay. It's got a really subtle flavor. Um, and maybe it's like more delicious because I can't have it for so long. Like it's only going to be... Right. They, they make these flavors that people love and then it, they take it away and then when it comes out people are like, well I gotta buy a lot of it now because yeah, it's yeah. not gonna, you know, I have to wait another year. You know, there's some good economics behind that, I, I think. See. Well, yeah, I definitely feel that. Like, I see it, and I'm like, I better buy it now because yeah, exactly. you never know when you're going to see it again. I mean, it's not just flavors either. It's the packaging. Mm -hmm. Like, the flavor might stay the same, but they'll do the seasonal packaging. Oh, they'll be like, okay. this... I mean, that was the thing that surprised me in Japan is, like, the packaging of the food or drink that you're buying is really important as well. Right, totally. And I, I had students who said, like, I kept the bottle purely because it had, you know, like, the... I don't know, 2006 winter packaging on it, okay. and I loved it. And I was right. like, I mean, like in the US we have Starbucks cups, but mm. that's, or like maybe they do a promotional event, but I think for the most part we're like, nice, throw away. I see, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that was, I don't know, I think that's kind of an interesting and very Japanese thing. Mm. Okay, lovely. All right, well, we're going to finish there today. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video. Please do comment on your favorite food or drink in the comment section below. And until next time, sayonara. Janet. <laughs>